there are three uh, parts to anatomy. And uh, basically, there are the uh, practicals, the pins, and the orals. Um, and for each, we will answer the following questions. The uh, what is the, let's say, practicals? Uh, when are the practicals? How they test it? Rules? Uh, how to study for it? And uh, when do they post their contents? Okay. So to begin with, I will uh, probably want to share my screen here uh, and show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, so yes, yeah, so here um, I will guide you through a step-by-step -step procedure on, uh, let's see, where did I put that file? Yeah, here. Okay, so three, three parts to every anatomy exam. So anatomy, according to Sersky, is split up, I think, uh, into three or four parts. And uh, the first one that you guys have is osteology and syndosmology. Um, of course, on, those, on this topic, you'll be tested um, in three different ways. First, the pins. Uh, first, the practicals, sorry. Uh, then the pins. Um, and then the oral. I have messed up the... Uh, just give me a second here. That's number one. That's the practical. And that's the pins. Okay, so the practical during the um, semester is one of the most important uh, steps. Okay, first let's go into the practical and see um, what do we mean by this. So to answer the questions, first, what are practicals? Practicals are more of a uh, hands-on experience for you to understand some different aspects of anatomy that you don't actually go into great details about during the semester. So it's more of uh, applied anatomy, uh, some interesting things. They're very nice to study for and they're quick to study for compared to uh, different issues that you'll be going through through the semester. Um, and I'll show you some examples of those practical issues right now. And I will answer uh, any questions maybe you have later. So when are your practicals? Your practicals are um, on, I think the 18th, slash 19th, they put two days because you guys are all split into two, those two days because nobody can fit, not everybody can fit into the same day. Um, how they test it. Okay, so let's just go over um, the contents that, that they post, okay? Um, so this is our um, anatomy practical issue list that he posted last year, 2021. So for example, here you can see the anatomical position of the body. So he tells you to show and subscribe the position on a natural specimen or on yourself. So um, for example, this is one of them, the recognition of main types of bones, uh, intervertebral discs, the flexure of the vertebral column. Like he's very specific with certain things. Um, also like the sternal angle. Uh, and you see like why those are applied because like when you are describing things to him, You'll show him that the sternal angle is here just between the uh, manubrium and the body of the sternum. And th these are the uh, contents here. Um, it's usually between one to uh, um, 13 issues that he will uh, post. Um, and the way I study for it is basically follow what's going on in here and what he really wants from me. So how I used to study for it, um, maybe that's a different part, but that's what they do. They post uh, the, the issue list and they expect you to know and follow that guidance to study for them. And how I used to um, uh, study for them is, I will show you in a bit, but the rules. So what are the rules of the practicals and, and um, how to uh, uh, study for them? So uh, first I will go through the rules. So the rules of the practicals are during the semester, those practicals are separated from pins. Um, practicals in general is the first step for you to go through an exam. Once you pass that practical, you're then allowed to do the pins and then you're allowed to go to, into the orals. If you fail the practical, you're not allowed to enter the orals. Uh, so that's, that's like a tricky part because sometimes you'll be studying for the orals and busy with them but you actually have to pass the practicals um, and in order to get into the oral. So it's a balance of both 
materials. So make sure that you're always selling your oil so that when the content of the practical comes in, um, you're ready, uh, you're not stressing. And I can always share this uh, practical uh, issue list with you if you want, because he may get the same ones, he may change a couple of those. Um, we don't know because Sirski is, is unpredictable, but this is a good start. That's a practical issue list. I can always share it with you guys. So these are the rules for the practicals during the year. Um, and the final exam, we're talking, still talking about rules, practicals get switched with pins. So you don't have uh, three um, sections of an exam anymore. You'll have only two. So pins will be the main practical. Um, and so you would have to actually pass the pins to get into the oral on the final exam, which is un unlike uh, during the year, okay? How to study for it. Um, so as I said, I would go through following these instructions, showing and describing the position uh, of this issue right here on a natural specimen um, or on yourself. So natural specimen is the ones that you see uh, on the, uh, in the labs, or you can always find those on YouTube as well, or on yourself. Like you can actually study with people and uh, be uh, aiming at your uh, bodies to show them what you actually mean. And that's what they expect you to do uh, during the exam. Um, when uh, do they uh, post uh, their, their, their uh, contents? So they post their contents just probably one to 1.5 weeks before the actual date of the practicals. Okay, so that's a very, um, I don't know, for me, it was, uh, it, was, um, it was kind of okay because I'm always going over my orals, but if you don't go over the orals and you leave them till the end, then it's gonna be hard. And how they test it in person, that's the final uh, part I'm gonna be talking about the practicals. Um, because now we, we're over the COVID part and we're in person classes, they will actually expect you to just uh, be on um, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, type session. So students will be kept in a room and then they'll be called uh, by their names to go up to the professor. And I think as far as I remember, you're, around, you're asked to answer three of those um, issues. Uh, so out of 13, you'll answer three of those issues. And once you answer the three, three of those issues correctly, you will be uh, uh, given a pass grade and then you'll go further to do the pins and then finally the orals, okay? This, these are the practicals. Of course, all of what you see right here on the issues, I'm always open to sharing them with you. Um, um, and, and of course, we can always uh, uh, talk more uh, about your questions. Now pins. The pins on the other hand are just basically pictures, pictures that you are required to go over and study. Um, how do you study for them is basically you memorize every single label on that picture. Okay, and this is these are a lot of, are, are a lot of pictures you're talking about the human body you're basically memorizing every single part of the human body that you can ever think about. Like if I point at this part like you have to know what this part is, so these are the main important. Um, uh, guidelines towards uh, pin pictures Okay, so second step so pins, as I said. What are pins? They are their pictures. They're, they're labeled pictures that you need to study throughout the year. Uh, when are pins? According to uh, your syllabus, um, pins are practicals during the year happen on the same day, I think, um, and uh, 18 on the 18th and 19th of November of 2021, you've got your um, practicals and pin exam coming up. Um, how they're tested? Yes, so uh, if it's in person, uh, you would be put all together in a room and then called uh, maybe in pairs. Um, uh, for Sariski's uh, style, what he does is uh, he would put uh, uh, the pictures on the screen and he will point at the, the uh, structure and you would have to write down um, the structure uh, from your memorization uh, onto the paper that he gives you. It's an, just an exam sheet that you put your name on and about, um, as far as I remember, 10 points, um, and uh, he will give you your grade out of 10 just, just directly after you guys all finish. And um, rules of the pins, pins are not quite important to pass during the year. Uh, there are bonus points for you to get bonus points on the orals. So the orals are out of five. If you pass a pin, let's say with an eight or a nine or a 10 out of 10, uh, you would get, um, a percentage mark bonus according to what he thinks 
uh, is the percentage is uh, on your rolls. Let's say uh, you pass the pins with 10, you can get, let's say, um, a 0 0.5 out of five uh, ready for you, waiting for you in the rolls before you even enter the exam. So that's actually really good. So I ad advise always to study the pins. Um, rules of the pins uh, during the semester. Um, I think I said that, but uh, during the pins, uh, uh, during the semester, they're bonus, but the, the final exam um, part, pins replace the practical. So you'd have to pass the pins to enter the orals. And that's why it's always important to keep progressing on studying the pins. Nobody told us that. Um, we had to figure that out by asking people. And that was so hectic because we figured that we didn't study a lot for them during the semester. And that was so bad. So I'm here telling you guys, keep pins in your study always. How to study? Good question. There's two decks right here that I think are very sufficient for your studying. They contain a lot of um, pictures in them and they can guide you in studying this. One very important platform that I've used to study um, every single day uh, for 15 to 20 minutes a day uh, is Anki's. If you don't know what Anki's are, sorry, I'm opening my settings for some reason. Uh, let me show you, Anki. Anki, that's the software, let it open. I'll show you just a quick review of how it works. I hope it opens quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, look, I had a thousand pictures in here. Uh, so I would go like study now, and then look, it's just there. I press space, shows me the structure name, posterior gastric artery, and then I can just choose from the bottom whether it's hard, good, or easy for me, and then it just calculates when it should post this picture again for me to memorize it. So it just actually calculates how your brain works according to repetition. So it depends on repetition. It was said by psychology that you need to repeat something 17 times to remember it. And this Anki is actually following that rule. So I just keep going, keep going, keep going for 15 minutes uh, during a day. And I'll just do it every day until the exam. So that's, that's how I study pins. And I'll always share this with you guys on the group for sure. Okay. Uh, when do they post their content? So do they actually post pictures of pins? Yes, they do, but they don't tell you about it. So she always posts this on the anatomy website that I've shared on the group, and I can always share that with you. So, um, but if you have those two files, I think you'll be good. But sometimes you want to focus your studying on osteology. And that's when you should go to your Anki's and filter out all of the osteology pictures so that you don't get waste time on studying urology when you don't need it. Those are the pins. Orals. Uh, let's go to the file back here. Orals. Um, what are orals? They're, they're basically oral exams. You have a couple of um, points that he posts right here. Um, they, they, they're, they're, from the list that you post right here, you have three groups. And from every group, uh, you uh, thank you, man. That's my roommate supporting me. Uh, from every group, you uh, study one. Uh, you uh, shoot yeah, from every group you are required to answer one point and that's like very bad like it's not bad but it's so hectic that you're studying all those points and then you just answer one from each group and that's how the system runs orals for example like <laughs> for the final exam you've got 164 issues and they're spread into four groups and you've got to answer one from each group yep i know i know it can be hectic but it's doable it's very interesting so here, yes, you have three groups and each group you contain 10 points and from every group you have to answer one point. Uh, when are orals? Your orals are the 22 on the 22nd of um, November uh, of 2021. Uh, how they're tested orally, you would go per in person, you would split into a separate group called by names and then Sirisky would put you in front of them um, or whoever your professor, yeah, you're always tested by Sirisky in orals. Uh, he will ask you randomly from every group to answer a question. You have to answer successfully on them and I'll tell you maybe later how to prepare for oral so that you can be sufficient. And they're always on my YouTube channel because I've always discussed that. Um, rules, if you don't pass the orals, you're not allowed to move further into the, uh, the contents of the semester. You have to repeat the orals until you pass. Same with the uh, practicals, I didn't mention that. Uh, you have to repeat until a certain, I think you are allowed to repeat three times, three times for every part. Like commissions and like how do that like practicals and you have two commissions i, I think mm -hmm. yeah it's about like two two more chances for you to pass every every not not the pins during the exam and during the semester but practice and orals you have like three chances 
um, you have to pass it to go on to the next level. Okay, uh, how to study? Uh, so many, so many ways. But start with my guidance videos because they're very uh, because I've taken my uh, anatomy with Sirsky all the time, um, and I know how he uh, discusses stuff. And I try my best to cover all of the points on your syllabus, so you'll be good to guide it through that. Start there. Uh, and make notes in class. Whenever you go to class, don't just sit there and depend and say, oh, I have videos I can watch later. No, you don't have time for that. Be active in class and write notes so that when you study later at home, you're good to go. Um, you need for anatomy every single day, 1.5 hours to cover everything uh, during the day and pins, okay? Uh, when do they post their content for uh, oral exam? They actually post it about three weeks before the exam. So that's actually enough time for you to know exactly when it is. So, but I can always share this. We don't know if he's gonna put the same exact points, but he always overlaps. So he doesn't like to switch a lot of stuff because he's a busy professor. These are a good start. We can always share those with you. Um, yes, so these are, this is how oral uh, anatomy, uh, pins anatomy and practical anatomy runs. Um, I don't know if I've gone through every single detail about how those exams run. There can be confusing in the beginning. But it's good that we're here to guide you through uh, without having to stress about it. Nobody has ever guided us through this. So um, thank you all for attending. And if you want to see my friend, Mav, you want to appear here? It's OK. <laughs> um, um, yeah, he's, he's going to be the marketing person. And he will always share with you all of the details because we'll be busy preparing for the videos and, and helping people out. Um, always good to reach out to him for um, uh, details on webinars or, or questions on upcoming events or something like that. Um, and we're also always available to answer your questions directly. Um, okay, this is the end of my webinar. Uh, I will post um, more uh, messages on the group related to upcoming stuff. And uh, I hope this was helpful and good luck with anatomy. You can always do this um, and, and, and stay focused and work hard. Have a good day.